Hey guys, got a software review for you today on WinX DVD Ripper 4 Mac. Thank you to Digidary Software for sending me out this. Uh, they sent me out more than one copy for free, so I will be giving away some copies of this software. I've got it for Mac and PC. And I'm here to review it for you guys today. This will rip any DVD onto your computer, onto iPads, onto iPhones, onto practically anything. It's a very good program. I've been using it for a while now, and I just absolutely love it. So, as I said, after this video, I'll have another video up on the giveaway on this software. And But right now, let's get into a review of the software. As you can see here, I've got the software open here. Um, as you can see down the bottom, it's got copy. That's the copy to um, direct to your computer in the best quality possible. you got to MP4, to iTunes, to MOV, to music, to MPEG, to... Um, FLVs to iPhone to iPad, iPods, Apple TV, PSPs, and AVR, of course. There's a few features up here Path, so you can add uh, a movie that's already on your computer and convert, so that's pretty handy. Or you can go straight from disc. As you see, I haven't got a disc in yet, but that's straight from disc from a DVD or movie. And then you've got your basic options up here change where you want to set your movie output. I'm going to change that right now. I'm going to change it to my desktop. And okay, profiles just your normal, these are your profiles down here, the iPhone that they just went through. They're your profiles. Okay, so as you see here, I'm going to put in my DVD. Wait for the DVD to load. This is a great program, guys. Just absolutely love it. And I can't wait to give it away to you guys. Once your DVD has loaded, you'll see it come up on the desktop. After once it's loaded, you want to hit DVD or disc up the top here. And as you can see, it's here, select disc. Then press OK. As it analyzes your DVD, as you can see, it comes up with a range of titles all the way down to about 19 or so, depending on your DVD, how long it is. As you can see from title information up the top here, you'll see that the first one's an hour and 34 minutes. That would be the main one. You don't need to tick any other ones. As you can see, you can tick more. You just want to tick the first one. Once you've ticked the first one, you want to go into the profile you want to set it as. I'm going to rip mine into an iPod format for my iPod Touch. As you can see, all the quality and all the profiles you can rip it into. I'm going to rip mine into a normal quality by 480 by 320. And of course, the... As you see, it's got excellent quality. If you press excellent quality, it will take a long, it will take longer to convert, but it will be better quality. I'm just going to go to a normal quality because it's only for my iPod Touch. It's the same for iPhone and everything. You select the same quality. If you're converting it to your laptop, I reckon convert it to the best quality possible. As you can see down the bottom here, CPU cores. I'm I've got a dual core, so I'll be running it at two. You can force AV sync if you want. I'm not going to. You can run in safe mode. I'm not going to. They're all unticked for me. Leave the audio settings and video quality as they are. Don't touch those. And leave everything as a as it is. As you can see, output folder again. I'm going to my desktop. After that's all done, all you want to do is hit the big start button. As you can see now, it's ripping the DVD straight from the CD onto my computer. As you can see down the bottom here, it's made a folder where it's going to be dropping the converted iPod formatted movie into there. So this will take a while. I'm not saying it's going to be the quickest thing, but it will take a while. So I'll be back with this video when it's done. Hey guys, back. As you can see, it's on 99%. Be honest with you, as you can see from current time, it has taken over an hour and 30 minutes. And that's a pretty long time to wait to convert a movie, but still, really good program. As you can see here, it's opened up into the movie that's on my desktop. And this is a movie, so let's have a quick look at it. I'm not going to show too much of it because I don't want to be caught with copyright. So let's open this movie. As you can see there, it's alright, it's pretty good quality as well. So for the time I waited, I'm reasonably happy with that. I'll put that on my iPod and watch it. I'm not going to go through the steps of putting that on your iPod. So just plug up your iPod, sync it, should be right. 
Same with the iPhone, iPad. So that's about it. That's the review of Win X DVD Ripper for Mac. If you like these videos, leave a comment. I'll try and get more of these. Thanks again to Digidary Soft for sending me out this software. Really appreciate it. Um, I'll have a PC review up soon in a few days. I'll have a video up on my on the giveaway that I'm giving away the, this product. I'm giving away the codes for it so you can get the full versions. I'll have the link down below to where you can download this software for free. But it, it will only be a trial. You can buy it for $40. You can download the trial, enter my giveaway, and if you win, I'll send you out the code through email, and you can register that for the full version. So again, hope you like these videos, and that's about it. Peace.